Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Eustace Farmer and this is Farming Simulator 2017 Goldcrest Valley and I'm bringing you today my very first mod showcase slash tutorial and I'm pretty excited about a few of these little mods that I have found so I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. I think you're gonna be thrilled with these. So the first one I'd like to show you is player speed mod is back. So basically when you're walking or running if you hit number one in the number row on your keyboard it's going to increase your speed a little bit as you see now if you hit number two even faster so that's 2x 4x and then 6x now that's just walking and if you hit your run button on top of that it's going to blast you into overdrive so that's a great mod i missed it just for a few days, I guess. <laughs> what a baby I am, huh? <laughs> Say, I want my mods back. So I love to have this because when you're doing, if you're a YouTuber and you do flyover map tours, if you're doing flying, um, developer mode, you know, just the standard walk and run, um, I mean, it could take you an, uh, absolutely forever to get from one side of the map to the other. So this really helps a lot with those. Um, it can cause your uh, a little screen tearing. So when you're using it and you're running around, if you're recording, it, it can pixelate your screen a bit, So just so you know. Um, but other than that, this is, in my opinion, a have-to mod. Everything I show you today, there will be links down in the description. So need, need not worry about that. Okay, so the second mod, Drive Control, is back. Sadly, it doesn't have the parking brake feature, but you know what? I bet that'll come in a future update. So let me go ahead and show you drive control. We'll use this nice Lizard TX415 barrel core. Let me go ahead and start it up. Now I use the shuttle for now on until it may start to annoy or impair me. Then I'll take it off. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So stick with me. So all right. First thing we need to do is if we hit, um, let me get them off here. Okay. So if you hit your left shift button and you hit number four in your number row, not on your keypad, your number row we're talking about here today. So number four, sh left shift, hold it, and hit number four. That's going to be your four-wheel drive. And then if you hit five, that's your front diff lock. And if you hit six, that's the back diff lock. Now, sometimes when I get stuck, especially when we had the dirt and terrain mod, and I'm sure that'll be coming too, um, four-wheel drive alone, not always did the job well and I found for some reason when I put all three on it would power right through it so if you get stuck someplace pop on all three and see what happens so all right now as far as the shuttle goes that works on your space bar just like before so there's forward and there's reverse so if you have a steering wheel and pedals um, I know like the Logitech uh, G29 in the past um, it didn't work very well with Farming Simulator as far as the, uh, the recognizing the pedals, and that's because of Logitech. So um, Drive Control Mod was essential. So if you had the shuttle mode on, that would, you know, give you, you know, braking and gas. So it was a godsend. <laughs> okay, so there's your forward. Your brake pedal is now your brake, and your gas pedal is your forward and reverse, just like you're putting it into gears and pressing the pedal in real life. So there we are. Enough about that one. Now, before we do the other mods, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable this function uh, in the XML. It's very, very simple. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to, you know, this PC, Documents, My Games, and then you're going to go to Farming Simulator 2017 folder. Okay. And then you're going to come down here and you're going to see now this once you put the drive control mod in your mod folder boot up your game save your game with the drive control mod in and activated and then it will create this drive control config xml and then you're going to right click on it and you're going to open it with notepad plus plus there we go so right off the top shuttle if you just type true uh put false instead of true it will turn the shuttle off and you won't have it. You'll still have all the other stuff, but you won't have um, drive control, uh, the shuttle. Now, there's other little features um, with drive control that you may find come in handy. So if you hit your left shift 
and the number three, you'll get cruise control. If you hit right alt, that will give you pipe cam on your harvester. So when you're emptying the harvester, it will um, activate a camera on the end of the uh, the auger pipe. And then if you hit your left shift key only, that will give you soft gas. So that's very nice for keyboard drivers, but it's also very nice for the, the wheel and pedal drivers as well because it will bring your speed up at a more civilized pace. So like when you hit the the gas it just won't take off like a shot if you floor it it has to ramp up to it just like a real vehicle would okay back to our other deal here so in order to use the next mod this is a money mod um, so you can add and take away money um, it defaults at 10 million so if you just hit enter when you do this little sequence it'll give you 10 million however if you don't just hit enter you can type um, GS cheat money and it will then you can hit space and then if you hit a minus symbol and then the amount you want to take away and hit, then hit enter it will do that for you um, if you want to add money you can add a custom amount whatever amount that you would like you don't have to put plus but you just you know type GS cheat money put a space and then the amount you want with no commas or dots and it will add in so in order to do this you have to activate developer mode now previously when I was doing FS 15 I was very hesitant on showing how to activate developer mode because there's other features in there um, that you can get into that if you don't really understand what you're doing you can mess things up on your computer so I just want to let you know right now I'm going to show you how to activate it but I'm going to show you this specific feature only and I'll show you how to fly and that's it so if you play around with other buttons and you mess something up please don't come yelling at Eustace <laughs> um, okay so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go back to documents my games farming simulator 2017 folder and then you're gonna do game XML not the game settings you want game XML right click on that open it with notepad plus plus and then if you scroll down to the bottom you're gonna see development controls it'll say false for you type true save it and you're done that's it now in the number row on the the very end to the left you're gonna see what's called the tilde t-i-l-d-e the tilde key you hit that once as you see I've already been playing with the money mod <laughs> But as you can also see here, all the mods that I've downloaded today, there are no errors. Fantastic. So, what do you do now? Hit the tilt key again. So, you're going to hit it twice. Let's do it again. One, that just shows you your error logs or, you know, the lack of errors. Hit it again, and you have the hashtag, which means now you can type in a command. You can do this two ways. You can now either hit your tab button on your keyboard and you can tab to GS money cheats okay and then now watch in my top right corner if I just hit the enter button without doing anything it's gonna give me 10 million plus 10 million there you go okay now let's say that I want to take away some money so I'm just gonna do this the fast way you can retab to it or you can just type in GS cheat money and you want capital C capital M now I'm gonna hit spacebar once I'm gonna hit minus the minus on the number pad and I'm gonna minus um, say 60 there we go minus 60,000 okay now let's see let me do it again space minus minus 59 million 940,000 okay that's how you take away money or a custom amount okay if you want to add a custom amount let's say you only need another ten thousand dollars GST money space let's put in five thousand let's put five thousand and ninety five how's that and there you go 
you don't need to put the plus symbol. If you want to take away, you need to put the minus symbol. So I hope that explains it um, well for you. Now, there's another feature in here. So let me just have a fresh start. We hit the tilde key twice, and that gives us our command line. Now, you can either type this in, but it's a long command. So I just like to tab over to it. Toggle flight and no HUD mode. Okay? So that's what you want. GS toggle flight and no HUD mode. Now that we've toggled to it, I'm just going to hit the enter on my keyboard once. Now that we've hit enter, we can go ahead and hit our tilde key twice again. Or once again, I'm sorry, it's once. Now we're ready to fly. So how do you fly? You're going to hit the J button on your keyboard. That activates flight mode. And then simply, I'm going to put set it to zero now because I got the, the player speed mod on, so that's going to help out a lot, but I'll show you. So you're going to hit the Q button to raise yourself up. You're going to hit the E button to raise yourself down. And then it's your typical walk buttons. W, S, A, and D. Okay? And then you can look with your mouse or the arrow buttons on your keyboard. Here's the arrows. Here's the mouse. Or you can even use your joystick on your control deck, I think. Nope, I'm a liar. No, no joystick on control deck. <laughs> okay, so let's get right up there. Now, as you see, I have the speed mod. So let's go ahead and we'll hit it on number one. And I'm going to hit run. And you see we're getting faster and faster. So I'm going to put it on number three. That's maximum. I'm going to hit my W and hold my shift button down at the same time. And now I'm running. And as you see, you can zip around the map much, much faster. So that's how you fly. So please, um, don't play around with any of the other functions if you don't know anything about them. Um, because you can do things that will really ruin your day and make you cry. <laughs> so if you want to deactivate um, flight mode again, like toggle it off, it's a toggle, not a deactivation. Just hit J again. If I want it back, hit J again. I think you get the idea. So this will go away when you close out your game. So every time you come in the game, if you want to fly around, you gotta you got to do your tilt key twice and then your tab over until you get to the toggle flight and no HUD mode. And it's usually right after start rain. If you miss it, just keep toggling. You'll get back to it. But try to go a little slow. And there you go. It's going to say false because it's already activated. <laughs> so, anyway, that's that. So, I hope that's helped you out a lot. Now, there's another money mod. And um, this one is called money mod. <laughs> so, this one is if you'd rather not use dev mode. Okay? Left control plus alt. And I'll hit number nine. Cha-ching! 100,000. So there we go. I hit 50k twice. Now, let's hit number 8. Left control and alt. Hold it down. There you go. There's your million. Left control, alt. Number 7. There's your 100,000. And if you keep um, hold, you know, clicking it, you'll, you know, get more and more and more, whatever you need. So that's a nice little mod if you would rather not fool around typing in developer mode but um let's see control alt let me hit yeah it doesn't do anything with minus oh well but if you'd like to take money away you know that uh little command line cheat is really good um really happy i'll be using that one um and let's face it you know if if you're hardcore and you want to play from the beginning from scratch that's great i've done it I still do it, um, but when you're a YouTuber, you know, there's times you, you have to add in money to feature new equipment. You know, I, I, you, you'll never do a mod showcase if you're, you know, starting from scratch. It'll take you, you know, a while to build up your finances. So um, the nice thing you can do if you're recording YouTube videos is have your map for your Let's Plays and all that stuff, and then have your test map which is great anyway. You want to test mods on a separate map, you know? Um, 
and you can add in, you know, $50 million or whatever you want. Then you just go in there and you can test to your heart's content and get anything that you would like. So sometimes you make a mistake in the game um, or you a map is updated and, you know, and it takes away some of your save files. You can, you know, add or subtract money back in however you like by using the money mod. So there's ways of doing that without having to go in and fool around in the XML. And I do have a tutorial. Um, it's a 2015 tutorial, but it still applies to 2017. Um, the XML looks pretty much the same. So um, that will apply to 2017. So if you would like to do it through the XML, go have a look in my tutorials. It's in there, how to edit the XML for money. And uh, you can enjoy that too. Okay, so there you have it. Money Mod, GS Cheat Money, Drive Control, and Player Speed Mod. I'll leave links down in the description. Go on over to the respective websites, download them, and give them a try. You're going to love them. So until we meet again, please take great care of yourself. And I thank you very much for watching and tuning in. And please, if you don't mind, hit the like button and do subscribe if you'd like to see more Let's Plays, live streams, and mod tutorials because there's a lot to come here on this channel. And I've also joined forces with Mr. Chris Bond from TBF Gaming and Mr. Species 7. So we're becoming a trio now and we're going to be forming a little network and we're also going to be rolling out a forum. So please stay tuned for that. We're going to have a nice hub where you guys can come and connect with us and um, that's going to be the future home of the mod list where you'll be able to download um, the mods that you see in my videos. It's all going to be over there. So, all right. Take care and bye-bye for now.